Hello everyone, so how are you all doing today? So on Thursday the 7th of September, Universal Music, or UM for short, announced an 8 CD box set celebrating the career of the British singer-songwriter Kirsty McColl. It covers her entire career from 1979 to 2000. Also there is a 7-inch release to go along with it, but I'll explain more as the video goes on. So as you all may know, I am a huge fan of Kirsty. I've been a huge fan of her since I was 13 years old and she is my fe favourite female solo artist ever. So I'm really excited about this. In fact, I've contributed to like the booklet, like it's not really a booklet, it's like a book with 60 pages in it. So I've contributed some a poster and a postcard. So it's eight, as I said, it's eight CDs and it contains um, the, all the songs that were supposed to be on her second Polydor album in 1983 called Real. So that is so exciting. I'm looking forward to hearing all the tracks on it. So there was there going to be 10 tracks. It's exciting. Some of those tracks were released on the From Coiding to Cuba box set released in 2005 and the box set also includes live sets, BBC sessions as well as well as some album tracks and, and her singles as well. So the 7 inch is um, You Caught Me Out, Back With Boys. So You Caught Me Out was going to be Kirsty's second single released on Stiff Records in October 1979 with the catalogue number by 57 but unfortunately she left the label before it was about to be released so I've always loved the song so I'm pleased that it's finally getting a release as it deserves and the front cover of the single features an like an um a very, very rare photograph of Kirsty with two members of the Boomtown Rats, um, Simon Crow and Pete Regret, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, so all three of them wrote You Caught Me Out. And it's a photograph of them outside of Brixton Academy. So it's so cool. I'm looking forward to receiving my copy. So there was teaser tracks. So the first one, so there's four teaser tracks. The first one um, on the first week, on the 7th of September, was a song Kirsty wrote with Lou Edmonds, a guitarist, singer, songwriter, called Lullaby for Esma. So it was a, a, an album track for the unreleased previously unreleased Polydor Real album and it's a hauntingly beautiful track it's so wonderful and the second teaser which was re released a week later was her cover which I think she did in the late 90s it's a Brazilian cover um, called uh, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right but it's Oxto and it's enti entirely in Portuguese and and she does it really well. And the third teaser track, no actually sorry I got it wrong. So the second teaser track was actually One Little Lie, a song she wrote um, in 1983 but then it was covered by Frida Lindstead, Annie Frida Lindstead from ABBA for her second English language solo album, Shine. It's a brilliant but underrated album, I feel. And Kirsty's version is just as um, as good as Frida's, in my opinion. I love it. Yeah, love her voice on that track. And actually, the third tease of the track, which was a week after One Little Lie, was the Brazilian cover that she did, Oxto. And the fourth one, the last teaser track, was 
a live version of England 2, Columbia Nil, which was from her final album, Tropical Brainstorm, released in 2000. It was her performance of the song at the Jazz Cafe, which is a renowned venue in London. And she performed it on the 12th of October, 1999. So the whole set of the Jazz Cafes set on that night is on this box set. So it's going to be a real treat. It's, I believe, the compilation is going to be the definitive compilation. It's an absolute treat and I can't wait to receive my coffee copy of it. I will do an unboxing when the See That Girl box set comes out and also the You Call Me Out 7 inch as well. So the You Call so the See That Girl box set, um the liner notes for the like the book that it comes in, 60 pages, is written by renowned journalist Jude Rogers. And there's going to be some rare unseen photographs as well. So I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.